Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to continue our series on looking at Plex and we're going to look specifically at how do you access your Plex information remotely. Uh, the beauty of having a Plex Media server when you've got the server running in the background is the fact that you're able to access all of your media and uh, photos and videos and all of that stuff remotely through the different Plex applications that are available. So what I'm going to do in this show is I'm going to show you how do you access that stuff from various uh, devices. So here I am on, uh, on a computer and if you want to access your Plex library uh, from your Mac or other computer uh, you can do that right through the web browser. Uh, you just go to uh, my.plexapp.com uh, log in and you come to this screen right here. This is the MyPlex screen and you can see here that it's got uh, you have a, a bookmark that you can drag up to your bookmarks bar which I've already done here uh, which allows you to say Plex it and what that does is that allows you to queue up uh, videos and things that you've seen on other websites that you might want to watch later and it adds them to your media queue in Plex. So let me show you how to do that. Let me just uh, let's click a new tab here and let's go uh, let's just go over to YouTube and if we go into YouTube and we wanted to uh, just find a video to watch uh, let's see here's a guy uh, winning a slam dunk contest let's pull that up here let's pull up some of the first one I see here and if I just click Plex it right here then what it's done is it's queued this video saved it to the queue uh, for me to watch later in Plex. Okay, you can see this little slide out box and then I can come right back into the website here. Now if I go back to Plex, to my Plex, and I go up here to uh, my media queue, and let me just uh, let me just reload this real quick, come up to the media queue, and there it is. So it's added that video now to my media queue. Now the beauty of that is, is I can watch that video then on all of my devices and it shows up in, in uh, Plex uh, across every one of uh, the devices or places that I want to watch it. So it is a nice a nice feature that as you're kind of perusing the web you find something you want to watch you can queue it up and get it ready to go. Uh, in my Plex I've got my uh, servers uh, that I can get a hold of and one of the things I found is that sometimes the uh, the buttons don't work unless I refresh the screen. Uh, that's a bug I think that they need to fix but when you come in here here you are on the other screen now you've got your servers and you can click your server information here and it shows that I'm online uh, and gives me information. I can actually share my server with other friends or I can actually go to Plex Web and when I click the Plex Web button it'll take me to the interface that we've talked about in previous shows. Looks just like the one that I have on my desktop. Just refresh again and then if I click devices what it'll do is show me all the different devices that have accessed my Plex media server and so it's nice to be able to see hey who's watching uh, what on my server and it gives you kind of an overview of how that looks and what that looks like here in the MyPlex application. So that gives you an idea of how to use the web server interface. Uh, now let me just uh, give you a, a okay, tour of what it looks like on iPad. IOS. And so you see I've got Plex down there in the menu bar. Let me just click that. And when you launch Plex you'll notice that it looks uh, just like uh, what you would see on the desktop. So the Plex application for iOS uh, has the same uh, look and feel to it. You can see we've got TV shows and our movies at the top. We've got all the different channels that we have added on here. Uh, you can see that uh, the item that I had queued up earlier uh, for the guy uh, slam dunking the basketball there, it's right there on the screen. And so all of this communicates uh, all together. I'm not going to go into depth on each of the fields in here because you've already seen those uh, in my previous screencast on this. But let me just show you some of the different settings and things that you can uh, put together. So if you notice down here in the corner, we've got uh, you know you've got a, a screen there. You click that, it shows the different players that are connected. So that if you have uh, other devices and things that are connected to Plex, they will show up here, so that uh, you can kind of see what what's running on your local network, and you can actually select them there, and it allows you to uh, kind of use this as a as a remote. So it'll be almost like AirPlay. So the connectors are there. Uh, you also have the the option of adding different servers and you can see I've got my particular server on there you can add a new server just by putting all your information in you just click the add server button you put in a friendly name for it and then all of the different connection information and save it I'm just gonna cancel that and pop out of that 
Uh, there's also an option here where you can see your friends, where you can share with other friends that are on Plex. And so you're able to just uh, add your friends on there, and then they can see some of your content, you can see theirs. And it's a great way to be able to share uh, together. You just click this uh, plus button here, and you add your friend's uh, Plex username or email address, and then their information will show up in there. I'm just going to cancel that because I don't have anybody to add right now. And then finally in the corner there, you've got the settings button. And so you can set all kinds of things. On the home screen, you can choose what you want to see and in what order. So if I wanted to move the uh, queue up, uh, just kind of move it up ahead of channels there, I can do that and have that set up and make that work. Or I can go back to default. Or if I just uncheck things, they won't show up anymore uh, on my Plex screen. And so you can just see, just as I've done that in the background, you can see how the queue moved up in front of the channels uh, on my iPad app. Uh, they've got the MyPlex connection there, where you can have your MyPlex information all set and ready to go. You've also got uh, things on video, where you can set the streaming quality on local Wi-Fi, how you want that to show up versus remote Wi-Fi. And so you have uh, various settings that you can check here, because Plex will uh, uh, sample that information on the fly. And so while you're on other networks, you probably don't want to use a super high uh, you know, kilobits per second, and so a, a bits per second. So instead, you can lower that so that the streaming quality is better, so that you don't get choppiness and things like that in your videos. So if you have that happening, you can come in here and reset uh, the actual speed of the streaming quality, and it'll help you out. Uh, you can lock your player in landscape. You can. Uh, control the subtitle size, audio boost, all those kinds of things. Uh, you can enable the universal transcoder, which uh, I'm just leaving that off for now. And then you can enable TV out if you wanted to, where you could connect this device to a television and then have it play that way. Let me just go back to settings. Uh, there's information on uh, audio. I can also set uh, whether I want theme music enabled or not. And theme music is basically that when you go into uh, in app, uh, a TV show or something like that, it will actually download the theme music from that TV show and play it in the background as you're browsing the different television shows and things that you've got. And so you've got your volume control here as well, which is a really nice setting. It just does that automatically in the background. You don't have to do anything to make that happen. Uh, again, server information uh, you've got here, uh, whether you want the mobile media server enabled or not, uh, whether you want to share synced content, uh, or share your photo albums. And so you can set up uh, what you want to have available, what you want to have shared. And then you've got an advanced here where you can uh, find nearby uh, servers. Uh, you can allow remote control of this. Uh, you can clear cache, all that kind of stuff right in here in the advanced area. And then they've got a link to help and support and about. So it really gives you a lot of options right here in the application. And the nice part about it, let me just click off this, is that this is a full, uh, fully functional application. It's the same as what you would get on the uh, desktop or on the MyPlex uh, application when you're going remotely. So all the look and feel is similar uh, to that. And you can uh, go through and just uh, view all of your media on any one of your devices, whether it's a Mac or an iOS device. So it uh, works out really nice. And uh, that gives you the tour of Plex. So. That's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.